what's up guys and welcome back to episode three of my frequently asked questions video series today we're only going to be covering one topic because it's one that i get asked almost daily on my channel on my instagram account through snapchat and i thought that it would be time to finally address it it's something that i'm really nervous to talk about for whatever reason and i don't know if it's because i think that i'm going to get judged for it or if i just feel bad about it myself, I guess. I'm not really sure what the whole deal is with it. But the most frequently asked question that I constantly get asked on all my social media accounts is, do you have loose skin? This is something that for so long I was in denial about whenever I was further along in my journey. Having never lost a lot of weight before, I had no idea what the appearance of loose skin looked like. So I thought that what I saw when I looked in the mirror was more just fat to lose and not lose skin. When I had my physical exam, I asked the doctor what she thought of my body. Was it loose skin or was it just fat? What she told me is what I needed to know to know I was at least on the right track. She told me what I saw when I looked in the mirror was not more fat to lose. She told me that it was loose skin. I had been in denial about it for so long, I had no idea. But that is what I had been dealing with for so long. I was constantly pushing myself, telling myself I had more fat to lose, more fat to lose, more fat to lose. But in reality, it was something that I couldn't control. So the answer to the question is, yes, I do have loose skin. I lost 108 pounds in a matter of a year and a couple months. Thankfully enough, with intermittent alternate day fasting, the prolonged fasting that I constantly do, it has reduced the look of my loose skin significantly. And that is why I continue to do it. I have a lot of you guys ask me, why do you continue to do intermittent fasting? Why do you fast for so long? What if you switch to a different method? The reason that I do it is to help with the appearance of loose skin. When you look at my body, you can't tell what I have hidden. A lot of people say that they don't believe that I have loose skin, but I tend to dress for my body type and I tend to dress in a way that conceals. I'm just very self-conscious of the way that my body looks after losing as much as I did. I don't want to feel uncomfortable in what I wear and what I put on. So when I tell you guys I look in the mirror and I see my insecurities, it's because I see something that I can't control. It's not something that I can really lose. My biggest insecurity is around my stomach and my midsection. The picture I'm about to show you guys is just a small amount of the insecurity that I feel comfortable sharing with you. See the way my midsection hangs down? That is what I am so self-conscious about. You know what? It's a scar. It's something that I have that shows what I accomplished. I don't care so much about the stretch marks. Those don't matter to me. And I know the loose skin that I have is just a document of my history, I guess you could say. My midsection is my problem area. When you look at my arms, you can see that I don't really have too much loose skin. The only part is here. And I think that's completely natural. Everything else is completely lean. You can see with my legs that they're pretty muscular. They're thick, they're solid. A lot of this has to do with the amount of physical activity that I do every day. And every day I get stronger. As for my midsection, where my stomach hangs, that is the issue that I have most with my body. It is completely normal and extremely common for you to have loose skin when you lose as much weight as I did. So many people are so afraid of that. I too have a hard time embracing it, but I have to think about how much healthier I am, how much happier I am. Something small like loose skin should not stop you from trying to be the healthiest you you can be. Yes, I'm very insecure about it. There's lots of times when I go to try clothes on and I just wish that I didn't have this overhanging stomach, but I do. And the only way that I could get rid of that is if I did skin removal surgery or if I continue to alternate day fast and reduce the amount of sagging skin that I have. I've told you guys about this before. It's called autophagy. Autophagy is what breaks down and recycles old and dead cells. Autophagy happens after 24 hours of fasting, which is why I continue to do my 38 to 40 hours of fasting. It helps my skin significantly to do this. It's one of the many benefits of fasting and it's why I continue to do it. Recently, I have thought a lot more about getting skin removal surgery to help with the appearance of my loose skin, but that is something that I have to decide for myself. I would not do that and do not advise you do that for anybody but yourself. 
It's not an easy way out. It is something I know there's a lot of negative stigma against, but I've talked to several different people who said that whenever they got their skin removal surgery, it helped their mindset significantly. Getting skin removal surgery would be more for my mental health than anything. And it would be for myself, nobody else. That's just a little personal knowledge for you all though. So in conclusion, yes, I do have loose skin. Yes, I have thought about skin removal surgery. Yes, if you lose 108 pounds in a year and a couple months, you're gonna have loose skin. Don't let that stop you from being healthy. I didn't. Even though I was in denial about it for so long, I think a small part of me knew what it was. But going to the doctor and determining that what I was seeing in the mirror wasn't fat and was loose skin helped my mentality. When I went and got my DEXA scan done and they determined I only had 23% body fat and categorized me in the fit category, that was really what I needed to show me that I'm on the right track. And the flaws that I see every time I look at myself in the mirror are just me. And I'm not a flaw. And my skin's not a flaw. And I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> so there you guys have it. The answer to the biggest question on all my social media accounts, do you have loose skin? I hope you guys enjoyed this frequently asked questions video. Please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate all your guys' continued support on my channel for videos like this and for asking the questions that everybody wants to know but's too afraid to ask. Thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching this month's frequently asked questions video. I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys on the next one.